Hello and welcome to the free lecture video clip 13 on Galilean relativity and inertial reference frames. Relativity is a concept that actually was put forth by Galileo. We're going to be interested in particularly uh, in regard to the kinematics of different inertial reference frames, that is reference frames moving with constant velocity. So suppose we consider an object that might be moving like a fly. There's a fly a fly can have all kinds of sort of complicated motion along a twisted path. Flies are very interesting. Fly motion can be very complicated. Very interesting, those flies. Very complicated motion. Yes. Well, anyway. Um, so, if we want to describe the kinematics of the fly, we need a coordinate system. So, we put a coordinate system down with the usual uh, labels uh, X and Y and Z and uh, we'll put this coordinate system uh, label it O as the original coordinate system the coordinate system which is at rest in the room relative to the fly when I talk about the position of the fly I can draw a vector position which I'll label uh, R the coordinate corresponds to its position and uh, now if I want to I can talk about a new coordinate system I can talk about a the measurement of the position of the fly is measured by a coordinate system I locate some other location. I call this new coordinate system the prime coordinate system, O prime, with coordinates x prime, y prime, and z prime. And since the coordinate system is displaced from the first coordinate system, I'm going to represent that displacement uh, by a new vector, which I'll label capital R. That's the displacement vector of the old coordinate system relative to the new one. And I'm not even going to displace this thing. I'm going to let this... Uh, coordinate system move with some given velocity v, constant velocity. So the original reference frame, the rest frame, which is sitting there at rest, it's fixed. And then over here now I have an inertial reference frame, which is moving with constant fixed velocity v at some arbitrary direction and location. So the velocity is constant of the reference frame, if the velocity is constant, then I can describe the position as a simple linear relationship between that velocity and time. So the position vector is just equal to some i naught plus some constant v times the time, t. Just like anything else, it moves at constant velocity. So now I want to talk about the position of the fly as seen in the primed reference frame. There it is. I'm going to label that r prime. And the key thing to notice is that I've got this little triangle where I've got three vectors, and I can describe the motion this way. So let's get I'm writing down the motion of the coordinate system, r and v. I've got those equations here. And then I can write down the equation for, I can just write down a vector relationship that says the vector r is just equal to the sum of the vectors big R plus little r prime. I just rearrange that, and I say little r prime is equal to little r minus big R. That minus sign is absolutely important because I'm basically subtracting big R to get back to little to get from little r to big r to little r prime. Now if I take a derivative, I just get the same equation, but now in terms of v's. V prime equals v minus big V. And I take a second derivative, well now of course the velocity is constant, so that second derivative means that there's no extra term there and a prime is equal to a. So these are what we call the coordinate transform relationships between the primed and unprimed coordinate systems. So let's take a closer look at these. In particular, let's see how they apply in terms of the dynamics of motion. So we have the dynamics for inertial reference frames. So to recapitulate what we've already said, uh, the O prime frame, the O frame rather, is at rest. The O prime frame is moving at a constant velocity, which is given as capital V. And so I can write down the kinematics of that frame. It's a constant velocity, and I can say that the position of the reference frame is equal to R naught plus Vt. So these are the kinematics of the inertial reference frame. In other words, they describe to the motion of the frame itself, not the bodies. But when I want to talk about the bodies, I can say that the position in the prime reference frame is equal to r minus r capital. The velocity is v minus v capital, and then a is equal to a. a prime is equal to a. 
these are the transform rules for converting from R, V, and A in N prime frame to R prime, V prime, and A prime in the prime frame. So basically, in, in the original reference frame, if I have a kinematic relationship like Newton's second law, I can say, well, let's look at that in the prime frame. I can write down the same expression but with primes. But notice that since A prime is equal to A, it must be true that the net force in the prime frame is equal to the net force in the M prime frame. In other words, Newtonian dynamics works the same way in every inertial reference frame. This is a simple consequence of the way we've defined Galilean relativity. So for example, if you're driving down the road at constant speed, your car is in an inertial reference frame. Let's see how that works. So here we have your car, uh, the wheels, the body, put you in the driver's seat, there you are, you're driving down the road at some fixed velocity, capital V, corresponding to your inertial reference frame. And ahead of you is some truck on the road, there it is, it's moving at some velocity V relative to the road. So let's fill in the drawings, we've got the road with the little lines on the road as you're going down the road. So we have one reference frame corresponding to being at rest, in other words, a reference frame that's sitting on this ground on the side of the road. And that's a reference frame that is fixed. It's what we call our original frame, reference O. But I can define another reference frame which is moving with the car. So basically it's sitting right on the windshield of the car. And that's the prime reference frame and it's moving with velocity V. So I want to know, for example, what can I say about the velocity of the road as seen in the reference frame that's moving with the car? So I can just write down our transform equations and get a sense of that right away. So the road has a velocity of zero in the original reference frame. But in the car frame, I have V prime equals V minus V, capital V, where that's a zero. So I get V prime is equal to minus V. The road is moving backwards with respect to the car. So here we are going down the road. And you can see the road, the, the lines on the road are going backwards at a speed that corresponds to the speed of the car. Likewise, if I consider the motion of the truck, say the truck has a velocity which is slightly less, barely less than the velocity of the car, then I can write down the same kind of relationship. The truck has a velocity v, little v, and seen by the car, the plot to v prime is equal to little v minus big v. So again, it's a fixed velocity, but with little v slightly less than big v, v prime is negative. The truck will be going backwards. See, as we're catching up to the truck, we're going faster than the truck, so in our reference frame, the truck is moving backwards at the speed corresponding to V minus V, capital V. That's an example of an inertial reference frame.